want to now go through creating your own necklace kit. So we have a beautiful, beautiful birthstone heart pendant to put onto a chain and I shall show you how. Right, we're going to start off with our lovely heart pendant and you'll see that we have a pendant, we have a chain, we have two jump rings and we have a clasp and that's all you need if you're going to create your own design. So first of all I'm going to talk you through jump rings. Jump rings are essential for your jewellery making uh, and here's the best way to open up a jump ring. If you feel with your nail you'll find where the opening is and I can just find a, feel a tiny little groove at the top. So you hold one plier at three o'clock and the other plier straight up and open. Hold your pliers, hold your or jump ring, take your, your chain or whatever you want to connect it to and then close it. That's the best way to use a jump ring. Don't pull it open sideways because you'll never get it round again. So I'm going to do that one more time and this time I'm going to take my heart pendant and I'm just going to loop it through one of the bars at the top. That's the first part of our necklace. Now, how many times have you bought a pendant and thought, now what am I going to do because I can't get it through the jump ring? Well, obviously you're going to have to open it again. But that's just to show you, so just make sure that when you buy these kits, test the um, the jump rings first on the end of the chain, so it's really important. But it doesn't matter how many times you open the jump ring. There, so there's your heart on your chain. And on one end we have a jump ring, and on the other end we're going to pop a clasp. Now I've already opened my jump ring this time. I'm going to feed that through the ring on the end of the pendant, take the clasp, again put my pliers back, at 12 o'clock and then close. Nice and firm and make sure that is really secure. And there we have your fabulous heart pendant. <laughs>